Hey everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Box of the Month. I'm Dan. And I'm Nicole. And it's May. And it's May. Wow. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there who are maybe watching the show like my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Mother's Day. Also, it was Daniel's birthday not too long ago. Mm, we're not, I'm not having any more. <laughs> yes, he is. He is having birthdays. Don't listen to him. <laughs> All right, we're going to start this. It was also my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, their birthday is two days apart. <laughs> All right, so this first one is going to be a Genesis. Okay. This looks like this might be an interesting box. Ooh. Spirit oh. of 76, the year I was born. <laughs> All right, this is an Atherin Genesis model of uh, Southern Pacific GP40P-2, number 3197. That they, one, one of the three engines, I think it was three, that SP painted in bicentennial colors for the bicentennial in 1976. Very um, cool. This one was kind of special to me because, um, and I don't know how she found out about it, but my, my grandmother on my dad's side um, took me to see this engine. Uh, she lived in a place where you could, her house kind of overlooked the, the commute line between uh, in, uh, San Francisco and San Jose. She was in Belmont, which is kind of right in the middle. And um, she knew somehow that this engine was going to be running one day, and she took me down to the Hillsdale train depot which is in San Mateo which is like the next town over and uh, we saw this come down and I saw it many times running around on the peninsula so that was, um, doesn't really fit my 1990s era but I really like it <laughs> <laughs> all right this next one is a rapido there you are rapido, rapido. yeah <laughs> rapido. northern pacific oh this is one of the yeah, I bought a set of these I think I might have even reviewed them I'm, I'm not sure um, Northern Pacific wood box cars, which are another train that doesn't really fit my era because wood box cars are way too old. But they're nice models, though. Um, so pretty detailed. Oh yeah, very pretty. It's got the Northern Pacific. I guess I'm not sure if that's a yin yang or what. It's kind of what it looks like. There. Oh yeah, red and black yin yang. Interesting. Yeah. So it just went up in priority to me. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. I just love those colors together. I can't help yeah. it. This is cool. Okay. And little. This is <laughs> little little tiny tank car. Um, this is new tooling. Right? New tooling. Yeah. This is an Atherin model. Looks like I actually weathered it a little bit. Oh, all right. Um, of a <laughs> so very cute. short tank car. So it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. That was a really cute. <laughs> little I'm not tank car. sure what they were used for, but um, I like them. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. Thank you. All right. Then we have this Atlas. Trying to get away. It's there we go. Trying to escape. Atlas. Okay. Rock Island, it says. Oh, Rock Island. Don't have oh. a lot of that. We have some fans of Rock Island, though. I've seen some comments. Yeah. And people commenting about Rock Island. Yeah, Rock Island went out of business in 1980, I believe. But yeah. um, this is a model of one of their boxcars in the red scheme. I figured, you know, there's probably still some of these running around in the 90s. So, and I think this one. Yeah, the door's Ooh. open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I love that because then we could put something right in there like it's being unloaded or loaded, you know. Yeah. It gives it more action and more life. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. And we have this very green atlas. Another atlas. Mm. This is a. Uh... Okay, this. We can play Stump Dan this time. <laughs> um, y A R R reporting marks. I don't remember what that is. Y A R R. Yeah. 
Hmm. Um, this looks like, it, I think this is one of Atlas's Canadian box cars that, um, this looks like it's probably an XBC rail car because of the green um, okay. patched for this other railroad. And I really, it must be some short line somewhere, but um, hmm. not ringing a bell right now anyway. So when you say short line for people who might not know, it's not me. <laughs> no, it, it really is me. <laughs> what does that mean? Because the only thing um, I think of is, you know, the little Monopoly game, <laughs> like, you know, short line. What does that uh, mean? Short lines are, are basically small railroads. Um, like Union Pacific is considered with uh, like a class one big railroad, or CSX or Norfolk Southern, those, um, okay. BNSF, those are big railroads. And then there's kind of mid-size regional railroads, um, and then there's short lines which are smaller, like the Sierra Railroad. I think would qualify as a short line, the one that runs in um, between like Oakdale and Sonora, okay. in California. Um, so it's relatively small. Okay. So hence uh, short. Yeah, I don't know if there are official categories like you know above a certain mileage or you know if they have. It's probably more broken down than that, but basically, uh, short lines are small. Okay. And Here we have a Union Pacific. Okay. This is an Atlas model. This is a refriger refrigerated. It says refrigerated. Kind of looks like it get lost in a mustard field. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty bare bones Union Pacific paint job. Um, really? Yeah, this was actually old. What is that date on the car? Si I think it's 60, 1960. That's the build date. Or those shop little date. things. Those yeah, little... It's, it's hard to read. But <laughs> anyway. Um, oh yeah, I do not have my glasses hooked up here. <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty cool model. So. All right. I just thought I would grab this one out because it's super long. It's probably the longest. Okay. This is a gondola. That I've seen. This is that an is exact rail car. Long. Model of a Southern Pacific uh, gondola. And this is I'm pretty sure these are authentic. Oh. It's got to open so like where the sea tainers go? Or? Uh, no, this would be more like for other things. Not so much. I don't think they use gondolas for containers so much. Um, mm. so they could put scrap metal in there. They could put oh, okay. rocks. They could put just about anything that you could throw in an open top car. That's true. Um, we have seen some of those that just had a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> yeah, pipe. You know, like loads of like big, big pipes. Okay. Um, this one's got some these little. It's got these little ridges on the top, which are actually like a separate metal part. But they oh. tend to pop out, and these are these are popped out a little bit. Oh, so you gotta be careful with it. Okay. They hmm. look neat, but I gotta figure out a way to make them stay in there. Like a way to tack them or something. Yeah, so they're not flopping all over okay. the place. Going back to the mini. Oh, another tiny <laughs> tank so car. Tiny. <laughs> I'm pretty much. It up with this one. It's pretty. It got a few of those in here. They're so cute. This one's blue. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a Mezo with NATX reporting marks. Well, they're all a Mezo. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Ah, no slapper. <laughs> there we <laughs> Thank go. Thank you. Yes, I deserved it. <laughs> Pretty all similar right. to the other one, except for and the paint job. And then we'll follow it up with the blue. This one is just blue with the RAIX reporting marks, which is probably a leasing company. Okay. Most of these have green dots, which means I've actually worked on them, and I see that they don't, that they actually have Katie shelf couplers on them, so. Um, looks like I've already dealt with them that way. Okay. So. I think so. I have N scale cars that are longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> they are shorties. Yeah. So then we've got some tangent. Tangent. Okay, this is a 
Rio Grande, 40 foot high cube box car. Oh, it's tall. Tall and, and short, which is kind of, uh, didn't see a whole lot of these, I don't think by the 90s, but they're kind of cool, kind of different. For taller yeah. things that are being shipped. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what they would, would have used these for specifically, but um, it's a neat car. I don't actually have um, relatively few Rio Grande cars, except for, so. D and RGW? Denver and Rio Grande Western. Okay, Denver and Rio Grande Western. Yeah, most, most of the time just called Rio Grande. Yeah, Denver needed to make his name longer. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this All is right, a tangent. tangent. Air slide covered hopper. Uh, decorated for Union Pacific with Missouri Pacific reporting marks. Hmm. So, kind of neat. Post merger car. So. All right. This one's. This one's photo etched roof walk has popped up too. That's the only problem, you know, I, I found with um, cars that have these photo etched parts is, um, I guess, because the probably because the plastic and the metal expand and contract at different rates when they go through temperature changes. That's the only thing I could think of that it tends to make those mm. parts come loose. So that's too bad. Yeah, got to find a good glue to keep that keep that down. Yeah, so we got an Atlas black and white. That is really good. Cool. Oh, it's brown. brown. Oh. Yeah, this is a McLeod River box car, which is another short line. Another short line. Yeah. <coughs> I think is pretty much defunct at this point, but um, used to run up in the. Near Shasta. Oh, okay. You know. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. I, somewhere I have a photograph of one of these cars that my dad took way many years ago, um, sitting by the McLeod Depot, which has since burned down. Oh. Um, but um, it's pretty neat. But I, I always like the the bear. It's got the little. I think that's supposed to be Mount Shasta on the logo, yeah. and then it's got a. I guess that's supposed to be a grizzly. So, not the California bear? Uh, maybe it's a California bear. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the California bear is a grizzly. Yeah. Here's a Walther's. Uh, front runner. Okay. Th hmm. This is a short. Um, you could actually see containers on this oh. or sometimes trailers. Or a trailer, I should say. It's one of the few uh, North American. Oh, this part. Yeah, this is a trailer, trailer hitch. Okay. So they would, yeah, they would put like a. You know, you picture a highway trailer. I think at another box of the month, I had a couple of these that actually had the highway trailer on it already. Okay, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. These are kind of interesting because the you don't see a lot of four-wheeled rolling stock in North America. It's more common in Europe. Hmm. But, um, okay. So this is kind of unusual. But it is very unusual. I thought you were going to say this is something that, you know, when they're working on the railroad. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's like something there. Oh. oh, right. And then next we have this series of stuff that okay. says Blueprint Series. Okay. So this is our last, well, I did save a cardboard yeah. box for the I end. But <laughs> Keep the cat away from the trains here. Right. Oh, okay. Check that out. Okay. That is very old. Yeah, these are some wooden refrigerator cars that were from Branch Line trains kits and branch lines the rolling stock of the branch line made is now part of atlas but um these i actually built from from kits from the, the kit where it's just like pieces and mm -hmm. nice yeah these um these don't really uh fit my era either because they weren't using wooden refrigerator or yeah wooden refrigerator cars by the 90s these would have been long gone but um yeah it's kind of interesting blatt's beer or Blatt's Brewery, Old Heidelberg beer. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So behind box number two. I think these are all basically the same. They're just different um, yeah, markings. Union Refrigerator Transit Lines. Yeah, so What's this one, one is, this one is Sioux Line, 
or the Sioux Line Herald anyway, but URTX reporting marks. Uh, same car, different paint job, basically. Okay. And last but not least. Another one. Uh, well, it doesn't even really have letter reporting marks, but it's, it is Union Refrigerator. And this is Heilemann's Old Style Lager. <laughs> I'm saying that right. La Crosse, okay. Wisconsin. La Crosse, Wisconsin. Yeah. So, anyway, it's got a little guy on it that looks like I he's in some kind of a guy. period costume. <laughs> um... Is it a leprechaun? Is it a leprechaun Santa? I, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what's going on um, with that picture. <laughs> that's a little... One of the three musketeers. I don't know. Hmm. It's a little hard to read. And yeah. then we have one of these cardboard boxes Oh, an Atherin again, blue box. Which usually has something cool in it. Oh, oh. there's a wine train. Oh, okay. Napa Valley Wine Train. This was a souvenir box car I got many years ago. Mm -hmm. and, oh, it looks like one of the couplers fell off. Right here? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a souvenir box car that I got from the Napa Valley Wine Train one time when I actually got to ride it. A um, long, long time ago. That's um, going to be a cool one, huh? Yeah. We need to do that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. This one, I think the door's open on this one as do well. They? Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this car, I actually, um, yeah, fake wine. Fake you know, wine. Bottles. Yeah. <laughs> this one, I actually um, made my own little track cleaner pad for it, and I was uh, put a couple holes in the bottom of the car, and this is just like a piece of uh, basically masonite and a couple of nails, and there was two was two weights on it. I think one of them fell off, but anyway. Um, if, if you want to just run it as a regular car, you just leave this out. But you, if you want to use it to clean the track, then you put that in there, and this will basically help to clean the track as it's running around. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let the boozies clean up the, the track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's not really an authentic, any kind of authentic anything car. I think they did have a car painted sort of like this as sitting on their property is sort of an advertisement for the train, but it's oh, not like yeah. it was going anywhere, you know. Sort of, I'm sure. Yeah. Nope. Um, but. That is the last one. Okay. Well, Benny was inside of the box, and I was going to, like, make a joke and be like, oh, there's one more thing in yeah. here. But he jumped out before he got done. Oh, well. So, oh, well, next time. Yeah. <laughs> the box is empty. The box is empty. That was a lot of... Um, cool trains. I really liked the little ones and I, of course the 76 Southern Pacific. I was like my yeah. favorites. Mm -hmm. But you know, I like other ones too. Yeah. Oh, it's super long. Yeah. They're pretty pretty nice cars mostly. I have, I do have a train. I think we had it on a box in the month at one time in my 1950s cars. Hmm. So, um these these wood refrigerator cars would be even a little bit old for that, but um, <laughs> I could probably throw them in, you know, for photos and things. So, well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, cool box. Yeah. Yeah. Another box. Mm -hmm. Another box done. Another box of the month. Oh. And that's, <laughs> and that's a kitty. Kitty playing with something. Oh, a kitty on the stovetop. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's the end anyway, so <laughs> we'll go handle that, and you guys have a great night. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.